Barranca waterfalls here in Goa. It's taken us about two hours to get out uh, here by car. So we're going to get a jeep and we'll then take us out 10 kilometres out to the falls. We're looking forward to having a swim and uh, looking at these falls. We've seen some photos, they look pretty cool, pretty amazing. Let's go check it out for ourselves. Are you scared of the cow? I want you to pat its horns, Hasha. Well, we've got ourselves a Jeep, and uh, now we've got our life jackets. We've got to carry on with us even if we don't want to go for a swim. Well it's probably you have a swim anyway but you've got to wear them. Here's our Jeep. All aboard. So one thing when you come out to do Saga Falls is you're gonna to have to get a Guardi, a car, a Jeep, and that will then drive you out there the last 10 kilometers. You also have to get a life jacket and you also have to pay a fee to get into the park but you've got to keep an eye on all your stuff apparently because there's lots of monkeys It was a, like a, a good half an hour drive in on really rough road through some rivers and creeks and you've got to watch where you walk. When you come to do Saga Falls, they give you these life jackets. Even if you're not going to go for a swim, you still got to carry it with you, uh, otherwise you won't be allowed in. Apparently a lot of people have died here from drowning, so this is an initiative that they've put in place. 
to try and stop that. Yeah, it's a good idea. People will walk and they say, oh, I don't want to swim and don't need a life jacket. But when they get there, they get hot and they go, oh, I'll go for a swim. So now it's compulsory. Train's coming, we arrived just on time. Amazing timing. So Dudesaddle is pretty cool. It's nice to come here for some hay on a hot day. Yeah, the water is really cold, um, but uh, very refreshing when you get out. But it's worth the effort. Get in there, have a swim, swim up the falls. The pressure of the falls keeps pushing you back. And check out, there's some like carp or some freshwater fish, a whole heap there. But make sure when you're on your way to or from the falls, you spend the time to just appreciate the surroundings. Because to be honest, it's not often in India you find yourself in a quiet place where there's no people. Monkeys all around us. And there's some even hopping in the car with us. <laughs> What did you think of Dude Saga? Awesome! Awesome! I loved it, it was fantastic! Incredible! The incredible! Yes! Huh.
cane juice. It has a little bit of a lemon in it. Very sweet. Very nice. Yeah, mint, lime. It's great. Tasty, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Get it while it's can. Yeah. That's right. You're going to leave a uh, milk moustache on you. Asha, give us a big smile. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed this episode on Dootsaga Falls. We had a great time. It's the dry season at the moment, so it wasn't quite as much water coming over, but it was still fantastic. And how was that train, the Chennai Express, going straight past the waterfall? How amazing would that be during the wet season with all the water pumping over the falls? But join us on our next episode. We're off to a local spice plantation to check out all the spices that are grown here in India. And we've also been invited by some friends, pretty cool, to visit their rubber tree farm. So we're looking forward to checking that out as well. If you enjoyed this episode, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you guys on our next Bad Into Adventure. See you then.